In this video today, I'm going to show you the four color system that I use in my DJ library. Now, I'm going to be doing this in Serato DJ Pro because they have the color tags. You might have the color tags in your DJ software, but we're going to be doing this in Serato DJ Pro. Now, there are a few reasons why I use the four color system. It helps me visually see my music in Serato DJ Pro. I'm very terrible at looking at names and artist names and knowing what tracks a banger or a warm up track. So if I use the colors and I set the colors as specific things, it helps me visualize my music a bit better in Serato DJ Pro. It also helps me organize and clean up my music music library, which I'm going to explain in this video today. And it also allows me to create certain crates and certain scenario crates in my music library, which I'm also going to be demonstrating in this video today. Now, the four colors that I use are green, yellow, orange, and black. So green means banger, which is going to be like your main set tracks, the tracks that you're going to play the peak of the night when everyone's drunk and everyone's ready to party. These are going to be probably your newest tracks or your biggest tracks at the time. Orange is warm up. So basically, as the party starts to build up, you want to start playing some warm up tracks to get the, the crowd nice and warmed up. So I'm going to mark those tracks as orange. Orange. Yellow I use for opening tracks. Have you ever started DJing in the club and no one's in there yet and you kind of want to get yourself warmed up? These tracks I'll usually play at the start. So basically, I love old school R&B, so I'll usually play some opening old school R&B tracks at the start of my set to get myself nice and warmed up. There's nothing worse than not being warmed up as a DJ and trying to play to a crowd. You feel stiff and you just feel like you're not getting everything right. So I do suggest that every single DJ to have an opening set crate just to get yourselves warmed up. So yeah, I use yellow for that. And then the last color that I use is black. Black is just going to be the tracks I'm going to delete. When I'm DJing, I'll come across a track that I don't like. I'll mark it as black. And then at the end of that week or the end of the month, I'll go through all those tracks, move them to my hard drive, and then delete them off my computer. To start using the four color system, what I would suggest is creating some smart crates on the left hand side for each of the genres in your music library. Now, if you don't have the years and genres for your music library, like you see on the screen right now, you can use my tool, Music Library Tools, to get the years and genres for the majority of your MP3 tracks. So all you need to do is open up Music Library Tools. And what you can do is select the folder where all your music lives. So if you come up to this icon here and go to select folder, all my music lives in all music. So if I go to open here, what I can do is I can run the populate year and genre script and this will get all the years and genres for the majority of the tracks in my music library. So I'm just gonna run this and this is gonna go off and get all the information for the tracks. Right, so once music library tools has finished scanning, what we're gonna do is press okay and we'll come back to our DJ software and we'll go to file and then we'll just click rescan ID free tags. And you can start to see that the genre and the years are starting to appear for these tracks. Now it's not gonna get the genre and years for every single track but as you can see here it's done a very good job now we have the genres and the years inside our music library we can come over to our smart crates on the left hand side and start the four color system usually what i'll do is i'll go into my genre crate and i'll order the crate by number and then i'll work from one to the bottom and determine if the track is a warm-up track a main set track an opening track or a delete track we're going to the hip-hop folder first and we'll go let's, let's do the first five so six seven nine thirty wap that's a warm-up track to me so i'm gonna put that as orange all i need fat joe i'm gonna put that as opening all around the world jay-z i'm gonna put that as warm up 100 the game feet drake mm, i'll put that as opening and actor full ludicrous i'm gonna put that as warm up and then some of these i'll just put like just for demonstrative purposes i'm gonna put these as green for banger and then these, this one black. And then what I'll do is I'll go through the entire folder and just do this. So let me just do that and I'll get back to you. Now I've done that, you can see that I've got tracks that are bangers, some tracks that are opening, some tracks that are, that are delete. Serato doesn't allow you to create a smart crate based on colors on the tag. So what you need to do is use another column to determine the color. So what I'll do is order it by color. Then on the in the remix of column here, what I'll do is I'll highlight all the orange tracks and type in here orange. And then in here, I'll type in yellow. In here, I'll type in green. And in here, I'll type in black. So what I'll do is I'll come up to the left-hand side, create a new smart crate, go to add rule, go to genre is hip hop rap. And then I'll go to add rule, remixer is green. Save that. And you can see that all the green banger tracks that are hip hop tracks are gonna be in here. So I'm just gonna just rename this as hip hop bangers. And I can just create them for the rest of the other colors as well. So I can go to genre is hip hop rap. Then I'll go to add rule. Then I'll go to remixer is orange, say. Go to save. And I'll go to hip hop warm up. So now you see that we can start creating scenario crates based on the colors because when it's warm up, you want to just go into a folder and play all the warm up tracks. You don't want to go through a massive music library like this and trying to figure out what tracks are what. Basically, if you go into your specific crates, it's a lot easier to DJ that way. 
Now, doing this for every single genre that you have is gonna take a long time. But what you need to realize is doing your music library and organizing your music library is a long process and it's not gonna be done overnight. You have to do it in chunks. So what I do suggest to every single DJ is do 20 minutes of your music library a day. Literally jump onto your music library, go into one of these genre folders, order it by number, then do about 20 minutes of just marking a track to determine if it's a banger or it's a main set track. Finish the 20 minutes, close your laptop, go do something else. Maybe come back that same day or come back another day. Don't try and do too much in one day because you're gonna get overwhelmed and you're gonna hate it and you're gonna stop doing it. The amount of people that have said to me, doing my music library is way too long, da, da, da. Literally, if you just do it in 20 minute chunks, it's gonna be a lot easier. And also, because I've created tools like music library tools, it's also made your music library organization a lot better. So if you're interested in music library tools, check the link in the description down below. So basically, when you add new music into your music library, just try and get into a habit of doing this system. So basically, if you've just imported some new music into your Serato DJ Pro, what you can do is, you see these tracks here. So I've just imported these new tracks. You gotta determine if if these tracks are banger, opening, warm up or delete. So I'm just gonna go into City Boys Burner Boy. This is a banger, so I'm gonna put that as green. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put that as uh, green here. And then this bongos tune here, I'm gonna put that as green, put that as color green. And then automatically that's gonna be put into my hip hop bangers crate. So if you see inside my hip hop crate now that this track has been automatically put in here. So when you add new music into your music library, literally add the tags, add the colors, and it will automatically go into your hip hop bangers folder, or your hip hop warm up folder. Basically, you just need to try and stay consistent. Being consistent will help you organize your music library a lot better. One thing I will say to all you DJs as well, make sure that you're going through your music library every six months and kind of doing a bit of maintenance in your music library. So say for example, you're going to your hip hop crate, every six months just go through the tracks again and just be like, you know what? This track is no longer warm up anymore. I'm gonna demote this to yellow and you can change that to yellow. And then you might come across some tracks that you think are just absolutely rubbish. So you might just highlight all these, put these as black here, put these as black here. And now what you're doing is you're kind of maintaining your music library and also just deleting tracks and cleaning up tracks. The four color system is really gonna help you maintain and clean up your music library. Now, one thing that do, DJs do struggle with is deleting music off of their computer. Now, using the four color system is gonna help you with that. You're gonna go through your music library and you're gonna really that you have a lot of tracks that you do not like. Do not be afraid to delete these tracks because all you're doing is making your life harder. Imagine DJing and looking for all these tracks, right? And you're seeing a bunch of tracks that you just don't like. Why are they in there? So every six months or so, go through your music library and delete the tracks. All you need to do is highlight these tracks, move them onto a hard drive so you still have them, and then press Command, Shift, and Delete, and that will delete them straight from your computer. Do not be afraid to delete music from your hard drive because it's actually gonna help you in the long run. Now, that was me demonstrating the four color system in Serato DJ Pro. Now that you've watched this video, check this video out here.